Fires of the Fallen Complexions, Copper, Tawny, Olive, Dusky, White or Pale Yellow, Dark Brown and Black, but none red unless painted. And that all these complexions are also found in Asia and Polynesia and Africa. The Native American Negroes or Black Indians have been seen in Brazil, Guiana, Caracas, Popayan, Choco, North California, North California. Some of them such as the Aroras or Caroras of Cumana were black but with fine features and long hair like the Jolofs and Galas of Africa, just like the ones in Africa, long hair. We show that in the California part three, right? There's African tribes over there with long hair. Others in New California, latitude 32, called Esteros are like the Hottentots. They're like what? The Hottentots? Numuquas and Tambukis? Like the Colt Khoisan? And many other Negrician tribes. Negrician tribes, not black, but dark brown, yet complete Negroes, okay? With large, thick lips, broad, flat noses, and very ugly. All right, Dr. Hijack with their prejudice, racist remarks, remember? With with hair crisps or curly, all right? With hair crisps or curly. Are right, you guys paying attention? You got to break all your spells, all the Pan-Africans out there. You guys got to be willing to learn. Stop taking this so personal. You have an emotional attachment to a belief, and that's okay. But we're showing you that there was people like that here in the Americas since creation. You got to stop grouping everybody into one continent. So I just wanted to remind everybody before we went into uh, this uh, rare footage that America had its own so-called Negro people. All so-called Negroes did not come out of Africa. So when you see footage of people in South America that to you, to you resemble indigenous Africans, you got to dodge your own hijacks and you got to break your spell. Don't add conjecture saying these people must have come from Africa. That's not true. Just something to think about for you. And I hope you guys can catch up to the presentations because I've proven all this stuff I'm saying. Apart from these sources, we've done other type of correlations and proofs and genealogy. So let's get uh, to the footage. Hope you guys enjoy it. And here to present the actual films of tonight's bold journey is John Stevenson. Deep in the jungles of French Guiana, Mr. Herman Jessen, the Amazon trader, makes his way up the Moroni River, aided by friendly natives. His object? To trade small manufactured goods with the primitive Indians along its banks for their spears, baskets, and primitive artifacts. His expedition must cut its way through the dense jungle overgrowth and often has to eat only what nature provides. And now... Here's the man you saw in the film earlier, Mr. Herman Jessen. Proud to have you with us, Mr. Jessen. 